Hey, happy Tuesday, everyone. How's everyone doing on this gorgeous, gorgeous day? At least it's gorgeous here in North Carolina. And it warmed up to, you know, like 55 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, I will take that for January all day long. <laughs> I hope that you are having an absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. I have been super duper productive um, since I implemented my new um, Monday Hour One system yesterday. And so today I wanted to go live and talk about focus. So focus. Why is focus important? Well, there's a lot of reasons that focus is important. But I'm going to just break it down to a few reasons that focus is important and how to get yourself focused so that you can actually start creating what you want to create in your life instead of spinning your wheels and not getting anything done. So let's talk about why focus is important. Your brain, whether or not you know it, is not an expert at multitasking. You may think, Hey, I have my phone here, and I've got my notepad over here, and I got this going over here, and I got the TV on over here, and the radio over here, and I can handle all these things. But really, your brain cannot handle all those things, not efficiently. It is like driving your car with one foot on the gas and one foot on the brake, right? You would get there a lot faster if you would just take your foot off the brake. So... That is why focus is so important. And the way your brain works is that it likes to like do like tasks or, you know, things in, in blocks. And it likes to have like sections, like an hour, two hours of like deep focus. And then it likes to have rest and like, you know, goof off time, right? So that's actually how your brain works. And I think that probably everyone's noticed. I know that I've noticed that there's a certain time of day that I just think better. Like I think more clearly, I come up with better ideas. I come up with more ideas. Like my brain is like on like, you know, super duper mode at certain times a day. And for me, that's like between about like nine and noon. And the rest of the day, it's not that I can't do anything. It's just that I'm much, much better at deep thinking in, you know, like mid to late morning. So that's when I scheduled my focus work. And let me tell you guys, I used to start my day um, what, what do you think I used to start my day with, right? Like checking Facebook, checking email. I felt like, oh, I have to get my email out of the way, right? Well, what I noticed was since I've started this new program where I'm, I have my two hours of focus time before I do anything else, like I don't check, check my email first. And what I've noticed is Thinking back to, okay, when I did check my email first as I started my day and let me clear my inbox and let me get rid of all the junk mail and stuff like that, like, it totally sidelined me, right? There's a lot of times, you, you know, you're, you're going through your email. Oh, look, here's a bill. I better get better schedule that. Okay, what else? Oh, okay, delete, delete, delete. Oh, look, here's an offer from Russell Brunson or somebody else. Oh, look, look, and then you get sucked down somebody's, you know, funnel or their marketing thing. And before you know it, like, an hour and a half has gone by and you haven't even gotten through your email box yet. And you've used that best part of your brain, that best part of your day, to like read people's things that they want to sell you. <laughs> Instead of getting stuff done that's actually productive for you and is income earning for you, you've let your brain power get leaked out and you've given that to other people. So it's made... You know, the, the focus, having my first two hours of the day as focus time and not touching email or social media or anything until that time is up has done, I can't even tell you, wonders for what I've been able to get done in a day. And so I highly recommend that you do the same. Start your day, if that's your best brain power time, you know, when you sit in front of your computer to start, with your focused activities, those creative things that you need to do, those projects, writing, you know, things that take a lot of brain power and get that done first. Do not open your email at all. Like don't even have the tab open. Like don't even let anything tempt you. So much of your time gets sucked into reading emails and emails that, you know, <laughs> are just trying to tempt you to buy stuff for the most part and stuff you don't need and don't want. So 
hold off on emails, spend your first two hours a day focusing, and you're going to be so amazed at what you're able to get done. It is, it is just like phew, incredible. So what do you, when do you go through email? When do you do the rest of your things? Well, if, once you've had your first two hours of the day, then you can do whatever else you want, right? You can focus an hour on email or 30 minutes on email, depending on how many emails you get. You know, like after you've taken a break from and had your focus time, or you can do it in the afternoon. But the main thing is, you know, your brain, use your brain how it's designed. Your brain was not designed for like constant pings from cell phones and constant pings from, from social media and constant pings from email. So you will do yourself a huge favor and your business a huge favor if you don't allow those distractions while you're working on important things. Even if you said, okay, I, I got my two hours of focus. Now let me check email or let me check my social media and make a few posts you know, give yourself like 30 minutes or whatever, and then boom, put it down, put it away as you move on to the next thing. You're going to be so amazed, y'all. You are going to be so, so, so amazed at what you're going to be able to create in your life. For me, 2021 is all about the year of doing the impossible. And, and you know, part of self-coaching scholars, that's one of the things that we started out the year with was making an impossible goal, which I have my impossible goal. And I am decided that this year is going to be the year that I do things that I considered impossible. I've already started out with a three-day water fast, which I completed, which I would have said was impossible. I talked to my dad about it over the weekend, and he was just like, I could never do that. And that was my thought before, too. I could never do that. But I did. And not only did I survive it, I felt amazing by the time it was over. So it's like, how many things... Do we shut ourselves off from because we say to ourselves they're impossible? Well, here's what I'm going to challenge you with this year. Nothing is impossible. Even if you're 100 pounds overweight and you run a, want to run a marathon this year, it is not impossible. Even if you have not $5 to your name and you want to start a business, nothing is impossible. Nothing, 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 nothing is impossible. All you have to do is open your mind to the fact that it could be possible. Instead of saying, hello, Joy, thank you so much for coming in today. Great to see you. All you have to say to yourself is, what if this was possible? If it was possible, how could I do this? What would be some ideas that I could have to do this if it were possible? Just if. If it could possibly be possible, how would that look? What would that work? Use those prompts during your focus time, those first two hours of the days that I talk about, and see what you are able to come up with. See the goals that you're able to see for yourself and watch. Watch you be able to make them happen. You can start with something small that you would think was impossible, like a three-day fast, right? It doesn't have to be, you know, making $100 million by the end of the month, right? <laughs> oh, Bashan, thank you so much. I'm glad this is helpful for you. I'm so glad this is helpful for you. Yeah, so this focus time, this, this focus time that you take in the morning, ask yourself, Take a goal that you have, even if it seems completely far-fetched. If this were possible, what would that look like? So all your brain needs to get going is just you not completely shutting it off and saying it's impossible. You can just say, if this were possible, if someone could do it, what would that person need to think about, you know, to act actions would they need to take? You know, what kind of things would they need to make that happen? And your brain is loves to answer questions. It loves to answer questions. It loves to. That's why you'll see email marketers write emails to you to sell you something and they will put a question on the subject line because your brain loves to answer questions. And so it says this question, hey, Lorna, quick question or whatever on your email and you'll click and open it because your brain's just like, it cannot like, it's like, oh, I want to answer a question. I want to be useful, right? 
So let your brain be useful. Use that focus time, those two hours. Remember, no email, no social media ahead of time. And ask yourself, what would this look like? If this could happen, what would it, what would it take? What would someone need? And let your brain start solving for the impossible. That's the power of focus. That's the power of making the best use of your, your brain and the times of day that it is on point. That is the power, the power of focus, the power of removing distractions is that you can accomplish the impossible. You only just need to decide what impossible thing it is that you want to start with first. So, if you need help creating the impossible in your life, I am an expert at helping people with that, and I would absolutely love and be honored to coach you through that. So, if that's something that you want to do, something you want to explore and see, hey, what would that look like to have Lorna help me? Watching from Nigeria. Wow, awesome. That's awesome. I love being an international coach. I got people all over the world. It's amazing. Thank you so much for watching. So yeah, if you want help creating that, catching live, yes. If you want help creating the impossible in your life, that's what I'm an expert at. That's what I do. I help people create the impossible. So all you need to do is text MOON to 90407. You're going to get a link straight to your little phone that will take you to my calendar, and you can book a complimentary breakthrough call with me. You can talk to me. You can let me know what it is that you want to create, and I will help you get clarity around that and let you know what that would look like to have me help you do that and what work with me. No obligation, but I think that you will be pretty excited about having me help you. So text MOON to 90407 to book a call with me. If you are one of my wonderful people that are not in the USA and you can't text to 90407 because in your country that doesn't work, you can DM me. I am available to chat. Love, love, love to help you create the impossible in your life in 2021. Lots of love. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will check in with you tomorrow.